how to set up the vibratome so um, and and start slicing so one thing you need is this 12 well plate and you can get those in the cell culture room in the cut cabinet other thing you need is PBS and another thing you need is a paintbrush these are found over in those drawers um, next to the cryostat the big giant yeah okay okay and then you need a uh, an allen wrench that fits and a blade and the blades where were these okay the blades should just be hanging out here so turn on the vibratome and you should see the uh, control panel turn on that's how you know it's on okay uh, so the first thing we need to do is get the vibratome set up so there are two important holes for your allen wrench over here on the side and up here on the top so over here on the side is the is the uh, hole that you use to bring the blade holder up so that you can put the blade in and these blades are really sharp so be careful so you turn you put your allen wrench in and turn that and that'll bring the blade holder which is this thing up so that you can then put your allen wrench in here and once that blade holder is up the, uh, and you put the allen wrench through here it will actually go into that hole right there see that mm -hmm. and that's where you can loosen and tighten the jaws that hold the blade so these blades there are two sides to them so when you take them out they're like this and uh, you only need one half so you break the blade like that I'll just break one it's not a big deal now uh, you only need one blade per session or one half of a blade so this if this is a whole blade you only need one half oh that one only has a half in there right now <laughs> so you just take the blade snap it there snap it there and then you just take out half of it half of the blade looks like this and they're really sharp okay once you have those jaws open with the allen wrench then you can stick the blade in and you can see that the blades in there how the blade goes in and um, then you uh, tighten it with the allen wrench so that the jaws hold it tight and then you come back over here and you bring it down until this white line here you see that big white line i don't know if your mm. thing focuses on that yeah Okay, there's a white line right here until it's, e until it's kind of flush with the top of this. Okay? All right. Once you got that done, you're going to take this square box out, and it has a uh, plat circular platform on it. You'll take all that out without hitting the blade, and bring it over here, and you'll take that uh, magnetized round platform out, and that's what you're going to glue your uh, slices to. So next thing you're going to do then, yeah, sorry, not your slices, your brain, your brains. So the next thing you want to do is you want to get your brains ready on that platform. So I'm going to cut down the four corners of this mold, and then I'll pull out the brains and trim it. trying to make straight perpendicular cuts and I'm gonna cut his hind brain off okay and then I'm gonna take super glue and I'm gonna spread it on a surface of the middle part of the platform that's that big right does that make sense mm -hmm. so I spread enough super glue out just a thin layer and then I'm gonna put this on there and it's actually ideal if you get a little Kim wipe and uh, dry it off real quick before you stick it on. That'll help it stick better. So Kim wipe it. And then I'm going to put this on medial, um, medial side up. So medial is, of course, middle side up. And so these are currently medial side up. So if I glue them on there like that, that would be medial side up. Then 
once you've dr let it dry for for a few seconds, maybe 10 seconds, you're going to do a really careful cut between the two hemispheres. Okay? And so now it's glued onto the platform and it's um, it's glued on the platform and uh, it's cut in between the two hemispheres. So then you're going to put that circular platform into the box here. It'll magnetize in. And then you bring that whole thing and slide it in here without touching the blade. Now you might need to retract the blade all the way. In fact, you should retract the blade all the way before you slide all that in. So there's the retractor. Okay. So now you've got it all retracted and you've got this thing in there. So what you're going to do next is you're going to bring the blade right up to the edge of your block. So bring the blade up to the edge of your block. Okay. And then bring and then lower using the up and down. Raise or lower the blade until it's right even with the top, with just above the top of your slab. And then it'll start cutting, and it might miss the slab completely at first, but then as you work your way down, it'll start to cut it. So you don't want, it, you don't want that blade to start out below the top of the slab, because then it's going to cut off a huge slice. We want it to start just above the slab. Okay? Once you've got that set, the blade positioned, then you can put in the PBS, and you fill the PBS all the way to the top. Well, not all the way to the top, just cover the blade. Okay? Now you're ready to slice. So to slice, you set it to 50, and it looks like our amplitude's at 0.9, and our speed's at 0.8, and you set your slice side to 50, and then when you're ready to go, you just hit run, and it will vibrate and slice through, and you're going to catch your slices as they come off with your paintbrush. this much ever again. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So uh, I got all the way through. I'm going to pull, uh, if I can get any of the agros off, that's best, but not necessary. Okay. So I just kind of, oh, I got a good bit of agros off there. And then you just kind of come up under the slice and kind of just lift up and out and that slice will come out onto your brush. And then you're going to go in sequential order in this 12 well plate that I've put PBS in. So I put PBS in there and I'm just going to go slice one, slice two, slice three, slice four, slice five, slice six, seven, eight, nine, etc. And then with the left hemisphere, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, etc. Okay. Yeah, I'm Okay. So I think we're ready for the second well here. And you kind of have to shake it off a little bit, but it should come off fairly easily. And then you retract the blade all the way to the back of the block. You don't have to go all the way to this, as far as it goes, but you do need to go all the way to behind where the slab starts. So that's far enough. And then I'm going to set, set it to 50 again, and then hit run again, and go through the process again. And then, might as well tell you how to dismantle things. So when you're done cutting, and the olfactory bulb's gone, then um, the first thing you need to do is retract the blade all the way. And then um, what I would do is use the Allen wrench and raise that blade up uh, over here. So raise the blade up all the way so that it's out of the way. And then take it out, take out the blade, and then take out this with your slices in it. Try not to spill too much. 
if you do spill, just clean it out. Okay? Then you can throw that tissue and the leftover slabs of agarose, you can just throw them away. And um, uh, what you're going to do then is you're going to, um, so you can just pull those slabs off. And whatever residue of super glue and agarose is left on there, you want to get a razor blade and scrape that off of that circular disc so that it's completely clean. Okay? And then what you're going to do is you'll wipe off the jaw, the, all the blade holder area. You'll rinse off the circular platform. You'll rinse out this box. If you spilled anything in here, you'll clean that out. Um, and... Where do we store this? Okay, and this gets stored in the fridge. You're just going to label it with uh, your name and what, what those how old those slices were what they were electroporated with, etc., so you know exactly what you're looking at. And that goes in the fridge. Now you can wrap some parafilm around the edge here so the Just lid so doesn't come off. Loose. Let's see. And then uh, when you're all done, shut off the uh, vibratome and put the cover on it. Is there like an on and off switch on here or just the on, on off switch is over here on the side? Okay. With the PBS that's in there now, can we reuse that? Sure. That's fine. Yeah. You're gonna have to like dump it out to, to super glue the sure, next. Sure, but it's just because we don't actually have no, you wouldn't need to dump it out. You could just pull out that metal platform. And super glue it. And super glue uh, it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. The problem is, is then it's really, once that PBS is in there, it's really hard to line up your blade with your slab. Sure. So I was just wondering if we could take it, put it into some container, sure. just because we are running a little bit low on what we well, have. Well, this is cheap. You can make it easy, too. Yeah. Well, that's not a big deal. Did you see it that But, yeah, you could. <laughs> yeah. You could reuse that. Okay. Cool. And then make sure everything's cleaned up. And if you guys are going to store brains, because you don't have time to, to uh, cut them. Just put a little bit of PBS on top and then wrap that in plastic wrap and stick it in the fridge. Okay. Okay. With the blades, once we're done, you're the, bla the, oh, the blades, once you're done, will go in the sharps container over on the bench over there. It's that red sharps container. Okay.